the sixth name for each gender and that name is Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It has been a while since I filmed a video. Today, as you can read by the title, I am doing a baby names I love but won't be using. I decided to do this video because I have been having major baby fever lately and I have been coming up with so many names I love. If you're new to our channel, we currently have two kids, Brielle and Bentley. They are four and two, and I definitely want a third baby. My fiance is still a little eh, but I do want a third, and it is all I can think about. But first we have to get through the wedding, and then I guess we will go from there. So in the meantime, to curb my baby fever, we got a puppy. He is an American pocket bully, and he's the cutest thing ever. Let's go see him. This is Keen. He's a four-month-old American pocket bully, and he's such a good boy, huh? He's such a good boy. He's a boy. He's a good boy, huh? So, as cute as he is, it didn't really make my baby fever go away. So, I still have baby fever, hardcore. Um... And I have been coming up with a bunch of names. And Shane and I agreed on one. I, well, I think he agreed. I don't, actually, now that I think about it, I don't know that he ever gave me a for sure answer. But anyways, so I have been keeping a list of names that I love. Um, if we do have a third baby, I don't necessarily need to have another B name. When I had my second baby, I had three names picked out and only one of them was a B and we waited until he was born to decide on a name and it just so happened to be the B name and that's why they both are B's but that's not the plan to have all B names. Um, although I did think that would be cool. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the names. So I have a list here of six names for each gender. I'm going to go and forth. Should I go back and forth or should I do... Okay, I'm gonna go back and forth. I'll do a girl name and then a boy's name and then girl name, boy name. I really like unique names but but that aren't too like wild and out there, if you know what I mean. Okay, so the first name on my list for girls is Berkeley. When I did think about doing all B names for my kids, I was going through like the common list of names and nothing really grabbed my attention for another B name. So I was going through like cities and towns and countries and whatnot. And when I thought of Berkeley, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a beautiful girl's name. I would love that. Okay, so now for boys, the first boy name on my list is Rowan. I love the name Rowan. Only reason why I wouldn't use it if we had a, another boy is because my cousin named her son Roman with an M. And I feel like Rowan is a little too close to that especially since we are a very close family. I just want something more unique for my kid and not close to anyone else's name. So that's that. So the second girl's name I have on my list is Florence. I feel like the name Florence would be so beautiful. Um, it has kind of like an old soul ring to it and I've never met anybody with this name. And I, and I like this name because I feel like it grows well with a person, you know, like when you know how like some names are very like young, like they work for babies, but when they get older, some names like don't really grow, like, how do I say this in a nice way? Some names don't really like match the person as they get older. Florence, I just feel like that name would grow with a person very well and it just rolls off the tongue very well and it just reminds me of like, just like a very free spirited person. Okay, so the second boy's name I have on my list is Beckham. I had this name, I've had this name on my list of names for a long time, um, even before Bentley was born and it was a possibility, but it didn't make it into our top three names that we had. But it's still on my list of names I love. I'm just not that big of a fan of nicknames and I just have a feeling that if we did Beckham that people would tend to call him Beck. And yeah, I know that's a really rude reason, not a really weird reason not to choose that name, but I just don't want Beck to become like his name. Um, yeah, 
Okay, so my third name for a girl, I have loved this name since before I had kids. Um, and I feel like it would go really pretty with my middle name. And that name is Charlotte, and we would do Charlie for short, but that name is just becoming so, so common. I wouldn't want to use it. And with that name, I would want to use Christine as a middle name, which is my middle name. Um, so Charlotte Christine, I feel like that just flows so well and beautifully. I feel like I've kind of moved on from that now since we didn't use it for our first kid. And also now that my grandma has a dog named Charlie, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. But I think Charlotte is such a beautiful name. It kind of reminds me of like Florence um, with that like old soul type of feel. Okay, so third name for a boy. I have these two names together. They're close but different um it is crew and cruise i love both of those names i feel like i liked cruise a few years ago but now i'm leaning towards liking crew more than cruise i love that both of the names are like one syllable so i feel like that just like reminds me of just like a strong like crew or cruise like you know i just feel like it's a very strong name like tough boy but sweet and i feel like they would work really well with our last name like crew dyer cruise dyer okay so now we are on to the fourth name for girls and that is laney laney just sounds like a sweet innocent little girl's name and i like lane for short and and this is a name kind of like i was saying earlier i feel like as that child got older with the name laney it doesn't really seem like a mature name like laney i don't know i mean i guess i guess with the nickname lane seems more mature but laney it's just such it's a such a beautiful name but i just picture a little girl like i can't picture it for um an adult professional okay now name number four for boys it's another one syllable name which is clearly a trend here um and that name is knox i love knox i love knox and again i feel like knox is such a strong name but i feel like knox wouldn't really fit one of my kids like <laughs> even though my kids look totally different and who knows what the next one will look like i don't feel like knox would be a name to fit them there we have it knox love the name not gonna use it for my kids okay name number four that i have on this list is oakley and i know i said that this is a video of names i love but won't be using and i actually think that i'm going to take this name off of that list and use it as a runner up for if we have another girl i do have one name for a girl that i absolutely love 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 and I'm not going to name it in this video just in case we end up using it. And as we did for Brielle and Bentley, we waited until they were born to officially decide on the name to see what fit them best. And that's what I'm pretty sure we would do for the third one. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have Oakley as a runner up. If Shane likes that name, um, I don't think I've ever brought that name up to him. So we'll see. Okay, so now for the fifth boy's name I have on my list. That name is Brooks and it's really funny because i recently met a family that has a son and daughter named oakley and brooks and i've had those names on my list before i met them so i was like oh my gosh what a cool name choice again with the one syllables i didn't even realize that that was one too i think it's a wonderful name and it's a name that can grow with the person again i don't think it will be a name that we will use if we did want to do the all b thing then i would definitely keep it higher on our list because after brooks and beckham there isn't really any other b names i like but we're not doing the b's so, so yeah okay so this last name i have it on my list for a boy and a girl so it is the sixth name for each gender and that name is ezra i love the name ezra i think that name started becoming popular after pretty little liars and i think a lot of people are using it for a boy and i love it for either a boy or a girl and that is it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like these names and let me know which name is your favorite down below. Make sure if you liked this video to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Oh,